What up fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jazz and Deb is running some errands. Before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for when we drop good eats like these. Don't forget to check the description the box down below to get you 10% off your coldest water bottle using the code coldest bird. <laughs> On the menu for today, we have a circuit turf mukbang. We got some, um, some, we have a ribeye steak with some sauteed shrimp on top, some black bean noodles, Brussels sprouts, jumbo shrimp, lobster tails. Oh, it feels like someone's calling me. Lobster tails and some stuff, crab stuff, crab and cheese stuffed mushrooms. And I got me some more Jamaican me happy because it's going to make me happy. <laughs> And I'm also going to answer some more of the questions that you guys left on the community tab. How y'all doing? What y'all eating on? Let me know down below. A lot of you guys were asking what kind of black bean noodles um, they were that I was eating. And they are not spicy, but this is the pack. So those are black bean noodles that I got. We get them in Atlanta at the H Mart. So if you have an Asian Mart, um, Asian Mart, Asian Market near you, you can check them, or you might can um, look on Amazon or on Google because they have um, ramen websites where you can buy the ramen online. But I'm about to cut up this steak real quick, so y'all yeah, won't have to see me struggle with that. Cause y'all asked a lot of more questions. So I don't want to keep having to cut and talk, cut and talk or cut and look at my phone. So I'm gonna cut this up real quick and be right back. Okay y'all, I got it all cut up now. Y'all know I got to have my tiger sauce. And let me tell y'all, I'm about to drench it on everything today. <laughs> no butter sauce for my shrimp. I don't even know what to eat. Bite first. Let's go on. Bite the steak. Get y'all a bite. Now I'm about to bite. Man. Mm-mm. I am doing myself. Oh my goodness. Y'all. That was too good. So real quick, I know y'all know it's something different. Your girl Your girl cut her nails, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Your girl cut her nails down. I know y'all like, oh my god. <laughs> But and somebody asked this question yesterday, so I'll start with that. I think they asked how I function with long nails. I really don't know because they're nails, but they're more just like I have really long fingers. So I don't know, the mayor just got used to it. But they do get dangerous. Someone also asked why I kicked the pinky nail short in the wrist. Where they're even now, but <laughs> my pinky nail always gets snagged and also so that I can make a fist. But my pinky nail always gets snagged and with acrylic nails, 
when you snag them and they pull backward, it pulls your real nose up from your bed and that shit hurt. Bad, ask anybody who get their nails done. So yeah, I just wanted a little, just a little break y'all. That's all, these will probably get longer and longer as I get them filled in. Works with gay y'all biting. I already beat it, but here y'all go. I'm sorry, we cousins. <laughs> but, yeah y'all, I just need a break. Dang, it's good. Man, I could up. Whoa. I just blew my own mind. Okay, let me ask some of these questions. A lot of you guys ask, um, how do I keep my skin flawless? Honestly, I don't know. I would say drink water, but that ain't all it. Cause honestly, I don't drink as much water as I should. I think it's just genetics. But the key to healthy skin is eating good, keeping your face clean, keeping product off your face. I wipe my face with just water. What else? And I do eat with my hands, y'all. So if you don't like people eating with their hands, I'm sorry. That fork gotta go. Let's eat some Brussels sprouts. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I try to keep my hands off my face, other people's hands. Now as husband and wife, babe, he loves to rub my face and stuff, but that's one thing I don't allow him or anyone to do. Other than like Adonis, cause he can't help stab me in the face, but I don't let nobody touch my face. Germs and I was type of crazy stuff. So be on your hands. And the soap you wash your hands with, the perfume and stuff, that's what break your face out. So honestly, keeping your hands off your face, stay hydrated from water. That should do it. Try not to drink sodas. When I do drink sodas, I get a pimple immediately. So I really kind of just listen to my skin. If you work like around toxic fumes or grease and stuff like that, just keep your face clean. Hold on y'all. It's a little fat, I didn't like that. Okay, next question. Are you having any more kids? If it happens, it happens. But for the most part, we just chilling. Let's eat another shrimp. Get y'all a bite. But speaking of babies, shout out to Queen Beast and Beast Mode because they're about to have a little beast. Babies make me so happy and growing happy families. Just make me so happy. I said this before, but if you knew, being a mom, I love being a wife. I love my baby. But being a mom also, the best thing that could have ever happened to me, being a wife and a mom. But a mom, oh yeah. It's my favorite thing and what keep me going. I love my kids and my baby. And I appreciate him for making me a mom. Couldn't be a mom without him. 
Whoa, why? Period poop. I was supposed to eat this yesterday. Today is Monday. But y'all probably see this on Wednesday. Because yesterday it will be Taco Tuesday. So, if you see a couple of videos back, they ate serpent toast. But I was tired when I came back from getting my nails done. So, I ate some fish sticks and went to sleep. Okay, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I would really like to watch TV. <clears throat> watch TV or what they have been telling you guys they have mommy time. Take a shower with the lights low, some candles or bath, and just, <clears throat> excuse me, have time re to reflect, talk to God, Listen to music. I love listening to music. Watching movies. I'm a pretty simple girl. What kind of products do you use in your hair? What's your hair routine? I don't have one, y'all. <laughs> Well, in this one too good, but um, I don't really have a routine, but I'm just now starting to develop one. But my goal. You should not wash my hair like much at all. Hold on, y'all. Here come a kid. And I gotta get some tiger sauce. Okay, y'all. Some kids was doing something. Y'all already know. Next question. How long were you and Deb in a relationship before getting married? Also, how long were you how long were you guys married? Love you by the way. Love you too. Shout out to you. We were in a relationship about a month before he asked. Then we were engaged for like four months. Hey, thank you, I was engaged for like four months. And then we got married. And we've been married for going on six years. This is my longest relationship, period. <laughs> First and last, boo, period. Don't play with me. <laughs> so my two people said, how old are you? I'm 24, I'll be 25, April 5th. Turn up and shout out to all you April babies. How long have I been natural? Yeah, excuse the uh, siren who live by the police department. And the window was up. <laughs> um, oh, how long have I been natural? Mm, at this point, like seven, about seven years. I started going natural pretty much right when I met, or right before I met Bay. So about six to seven years. 
Don't be mad if I'm wrong. I'm gonna give y'all first bite of the lobster this time. Lobster tail. You got a little, got a little tiger sauce on it. Let's put a little more. Um, have you gained any weight doing these videos? And what color do you have on your hair? Um, I actually have not gained any weight doing these mukbangs, and that's probably because when we be telling y'all we're hungry and this is our first time eating, we don't be lying. Or we have something small like a bowl of cereal or something. We never really finish all the food. Mm -mm. And we eat like seafood. We don't eat beef other than, you know, steak every once in a while. If you see us eat nachos, it's probably ground turkey. So, gaining weight has not been a problem. I mean, the color I have in my hair, I had, I actually got it bleached. And it was dyed a bunch of colors, so now it's just faded I guess the blonde from what there was left man so good um jazz when the kids get older do you guys intend to venture outside of YouTube and do other things like maybe school or other occupation mm. We're definitely going to do some different things. YouTube is not the end. And I'm going to just leave that on that. Subscribe. And subscribe to FFP Vlogs. So y'all can follow our journey because. Unless YouTube shut down, we're probably more than likely. We're definitely still vlog and share our journey and what we're doing so stay tuned mm -mm. how was giving birth i thank god but i haven't had really a bad experience with giving birth now my kids never come on time they always come after their due date, so I've always had to get induced, but other than that, pretty easy to me. The birth is the easy part. Them nine months, two, that's the hard part. Lord. Um... Some people are asking for YouTube advice. Me and Bae had to do a video together on that because he can tell you more than I can. Um, did you did you want all boys or would you like to have had a baby girl? Um. At first, I wanted a girl really bad. But, after like, third boy, I was over it. <clears throat> and I felt that God was trying to tell me something that I really didn't know what I was asking for. <laughs> So, if she comes, then she comes. My mind is made up on, it's a no for me, sis. The attitude and the boyfriends and, cause I mean, I know my son's gonna have girlfriends, but I don't know, that daughter or something. It's something else, maybe cause I'm a girl. It ain't cute. <laughs> Mm -hmm, it would be so good. So I said, I want 
how many little jazzes you have. I don't know if you mean by little kids or girls, but I don't have any daughters born from me. I do have two stepdaughters, but we have four boys. Will we have some more? We don't know yet. It's up in, in the air. Um, <laughs> somebody asked what state do we live in and also are there any future plans for meet and greets? We live in Alabama and which y'all know a lot of people don't live in Alabama. Y'all are way far. But uh, meet and greet plans, yes, but we just got to figure out, <coughs> excuse me, a middle to where everyone is. Okay, so this mushroom. And I'll be right back because it sounds like a dinosaur is waking up. Oh yeah. That now I'm playing. Had to take a drink on that one. <laughs> I think I answered the last question I was eating. Um, I have a question. Do you feel like food has an impact on your on hormones and emotions? I am thinking of doing a clean oh a clean eating month or a spiritual fast. I was just curious if anyone thinks like I do. I most definitely think that food has um an effect on your emotion emotion emotions and hormones so a fast a fast is always good either way it goes somebody said what happened with you and your brother he was kind of relatable to me like with my little brother we already did we already said that we weren't gonna go into many details but we just sometimes people have to part ways for the best and that's just that on that y'all i really don't have much to tell y'all are you guys gonna have another baby in the future we don't know thank you everybody for all the compliments somebody asked kind of make a video on how to put my lashes on if you go to SV vlogs there's a small video already on there but i'm definitely going to do an updated version but yes, there is a updated, I mean, I am going to give you guys an updated, updated, updated tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and put my lashes on. So make sure you subscribe to our vlog channel, FFV Vlogs. Um, Jazz, do you and your husband take vacation alone for QT? Where do you get your hair wraps? I get these hair wraps from the beauty supply store, or you can go in Walmart or look uh, look for them on Amazon or anywhere online. They're just called turbans. But um, we don't get a lot of alone time like on vacation because we really don't have anyone to watch the kids. It's really just us. So. We pretty much all travel together, but every once in a while, we um we get a little weekend alone. Someone said, I might have already answered this, but the question, what is this in the middle of my hand? This is a skin graft. When I was like two years old, I got burned and the skin was pretty much gone. So this is skin from my hip. I had to get a skin graft. So. That's what happened to the middle of my hand. So nope, not a birthmark. I'd like to know, do you have a schedule that you go by? Being a wife and mother, how do you find time for you and your husband? We, we have a schedule, but we don't have a schedule, if that makes sense. We kind of just go with the flow but we do the same thing. We do everything. We have a routine. We don't have a specific time. Excuse me. But we do have a routine. <laughs> excuse me. And honestly, our goal right now is to move. So we, our time together 
really it's late at night when the kids are going to bed and we talk about talk about goals how we're going to achieve our goals when we do videos with you guys we even though the camera is on we consider that our time too that we just don't mind also sharing it with y'all mm -mm. Somebody asked, what's the age difference between me and Bay? The yep. It is six years. I get a lot that I'm way mature than 24. I told you I got an old soul. So, I think that's something that helped us all rip. That even though I was young, my mind wasn't young. I mean, it was because I did I did have some learning to do, but it's to a to a certain extent. Mm. Yeah, I was so out. I feel like it. Oh, oh yes, yeah, here it is. I would like to know when you met your husband and was it love at first sight? I think you and your husband are so cute together. Thank you. Shout out to you. Um, I met him. A family member introduced me to him. We started texting and the rest is history. He invited me over for dinner, which is, I know that's crazy. Like, what you went to his house for dinner but he was definitely a trusted the, 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 he was definitely a trusted person because the the relative that introduced me to him was talking to him like they were friends and hanging out for a few months before we exchanged numbers so i knew it was safe and people knew where i were where i was if we went the full story to the description box down below where I play this how we met story time. But I ate dinner and the rest is history. I would say to me it was love at first sight because after that first date we stayed on the phone damn near 24-7. When I got out of work, I went to go visit him at his house or he came to my job. Because I was young and had a curfew. I'm not going to say I was young. I was 19. And I don't know about y'all parents, but my mom was one of them moms. Well, she wasn't having that. Sh so, at 19, I did have a curfew. And... Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below on that because that curfew at a certain age stuff gets, it gets crazy. I know some people believe in it and I know some people don't. So y'all just let me know what y'all think down below and then I'll tell y'all what I experienced and um and tell y'all my thoughts. But I can also say that even with a curfew, I, um, even with a curfew, I also kind of knew, not kind of, I definitely knew that Deb was the one because I was 19, he was 25. What? What kind of, what? I'm not gonna say what kind of, what person do you know is going to like deal or be that patient you know with something like that and he was a very patient he always made me feel good and the rest are oh, the rest is history well the rest is the future what y'all see but the bond and the vibe that we had it was just it was just there and I just, I just knew, I just knew. 
I think that's one of, I'm not gonna say it was one of the hardest questions, but it's like I can explain it, but I can't explain it because it's just a feeling in my gut. How do you explain the feeling in your gut? I just, I just felt it, I just knew. But, anyway. Sorry y'all, the camera cut off. But yes, I have to do a video for you guys on how I knew he was the one in another time. <laughs> so I can tell, tell y'all, tell y'all the tea. He's really not in tea. <laughs> but I think that's all the questions. Um, if you want to, if you, or not if you want to, if you feel like I missed your question, you probably missed the um, seafood boil. I did a couple of videos ago. I will leave the link down in the description where I answer some more of the other questions. <coughs> Excuse me. So that you can get all of the questions in case I didn't answer them in this video. Thank y'all for joining me and watching me tear this food up. It obviously was dead good. It was so delicious. Delicious, delicious. Y'all, I am so tongue tied today. Is it the Jamaican me happy? What, or y'all making me nervous? What, what is going on? I'm here by myself other than the kids. I'm just all, maybe, am I trying to hurry up? What I got going on? I don't know. Maybe the food was that good. So what, I'm just, words all over the place, all tongue tied. But anyway, please make sure you give the video a big thumb. Big C, here I go. Big thumbs up. If you, if you enjoyed it. If you did not, you can give it a thumbs down. I won't be mad. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Our shout outs for today go to these people right here. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing and commenting on our video. If you want to shout out like them, all you have to do is subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Come in when we post a video. Leave us some comments down below to let us know you watched. If you got something that you want to ask or hear us talk about, there's an email in the description box. Fam, F-A-M-M, -M, famchat at gmail.com. You can email it so we can either talk about it or answer it anonymously or you can let us know. And oh, if you have something you want to see us eat or cook, let us know down below. Subscribe to our blog channel, FFB Vlogs. We're going to be posting over there very soon. We're trying to get some stuff in the works. Um, I think that's all I got, y'all. I love y'all and until next time.